back to my youtube channel it's your girl for me and we are here again today it's actually a really good day today and i am in a great mood but anyway someone messaged me last week a couple of people actually asking me how to return items on shein so since i haven't actually done a video particularly about returning items on shein i wanted to share one with you so i'm going to be showing you how to do it on a laptop computer on a phone and I'm also going to be sharing things that you can and cannot return on Shein. So if you want to learn about how to return all the items you can return, if you want to learn any of this stuff, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, guys, so let's get right into the video, okay? So the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do it on the computer first. So if you see me looking down, that's because I'm on my computer. Just follow me on the screen here. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to go ahead and sign into your Shein account. And I'm already signed in. So once you sign in, you're going to click that little man on the side and you're going to click on my orders. And then once you click on my orders here, you're going to go ahead and look through the order you want to return. And you see where it says return item. You're just going to click right there. I'm going to click return. And then what you're going to do is you're going to select the item you want to return and then select the reason for returning the item. Um, I'm just going to say poor quality of fabric. I actually want to return this, but... I don't know. Oh, by the way, guys, this jacket that I'm wearing is also from Shein. And this is actually it right here. Dual pocket button front tweed coat. It's nice. It's not the warmest, but it actually is pretty good quality. Um, it's more like a fall jacket. So if you're looking to buy that, then... <laughs> anyway, so select the reason why you want to return it, which could be... Um, I'm just going to say poor quality in this in this. Um, they usually request for photos. This is a new thing they're doing, which is really annoying. But we're just going to, I'm just going to upload some random pictures on there. Um, so let's just do the pictures of the shoes just because, you know. And you see how they say if you are returning multiple items for one order, you can avoid additional return fees by returning them together. Let me tell you what that means. So you see how I have all of these orders right now. So if I wanted to return this jacket that I have on, um, I want to select it at once because they will give you a printing label, like a shipping label. And if I forget to select this one and then I print out my shipping label and then I send this blue jacket to them and, I, I, that's, and then I realize that I want to send this after i have to pay 7.99 to ship this to them but if i print this out and i forgot and i did not and i did not select this and i went back to select it after i printed the label out it's still fine as long as you haven't sent the blue item um away hopefully i'm not confusing so let me say that again if you have two items multiple items in this instance we're looking at this jacket that i'm wearing and the blue one that i'm about to return if you want to return those two items you want to make sure you're returning them together in the same in the same label in the same box okay let's say you forget let's say you only check this one box right here and then you pack that box and you put the label on top and then you remember before you go to the post office like oh i want to send this as well you need to open that box add this one to that box seal it back use the same shipping label and send it if you have already sent it to the post office and they've already taken it from you, you are going to have to pay $7.99 to be able to return any other item in the same order. Only in the same order. And what I mean by that is like you see how all of these items are from this order. Um, If you go back one step, let me see if I can go back. If I go back one step, you will see like every order has a different order number. So the item we're returning this one is, is the order number. So this, all of these items in this order um can be returned with one shipping label that's what i mean by that okay hopefully i didn't confuse you so let's go back so we're going to click on return item and then once we click on return item we're going to go select the item we want to return and then we're going to select the reason oof uh we're just going to see poor quality of fabric they're going to ask for pictures and i think one of the reasons why they're doing that is because they want to be able to give you your money as quickly as possible sometimes they will ask for pictures other times they wouldn't so I've put a picture in there and I'm going to click on next step. And then what's going to happen is they're going to ask you, how would you like them to refund your money? Would you like them to do the Shein wallet? They will give you 20 extra points, which is 20 cents off of your, your whatever you're purchasing next. Or you can send it to your original payment method. So here I'm just going to select Shein wallet. And then for return method, 
I'm going to select post office by USPS and you see how this is use our return label to postmark your first return with, within 45 days and they will cover the shipping costs. For returns after the first one, the $7.99 fee will be deducted. And they've actually increased the window for return from 45 days to 75 days because of COVID. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so you're just going to click on submit and it's a success. And now it's just going to reboot. Oh, wow. So I've never seen this one before. Okay. She always does something new all the time. Okay. So it's successful, but sometimes they will give you, they would, once you click on submit, it would show you the printing label, which you can print, which is why I was doing this video in the first place. But for this particular item, they are like, as our value customer, we are happy to provide you with a priority refund for this item. You're welcome to keep this item without returning it. No return label will be sent. This is a random selection by our system. It's not applicable to everybody. The refund will be issued back to your Shein wallet within 24 hours. And they also gave me a 15% off for the next order. By the way, guys, try 15. Go ahead and save that code. Use it. I'm not getting money for it. Just go ahead and use it. Um, but yeah, that's one way. But I do want to show you what the label looks like. Um, so this is done for this order. I don't have to return this jacket. I get to keep it. And it's very random, like they said. But let me show you Let me show you what it looks like, what the, um, what the shipping label looks like. So you click on return orders. And then you're going to click on, let me see, I'm trying to see if I can find it. Okay, let's go back in. They just threw me off with this whole money thing that they gave me. I'm actually low-key happy about that. But let's go back actually and look at another order. So let's say return orders. So when you click on your return orders, like I'm doing here, um, you can click on return and refund record. And when you click on that, you're actually able to see um, the details about the return. So if you click on it, it shows you where the money is, if they've refunded it or not, the status. Um, and it shows you if it's arrived at the warehouse or not. Okay. Um, so you're able to track it but what i'm trying to find is i'm actually trying to show you guys what a return label looks like okay um but unfortunately this time around they didn't give me a return. i was actually saving this so i could actually show you guys what it looks like but i'm actually looking mad that they didn't show me okay so return application success successful please check in return and refund re record to get the return label later okay so we're gonna click on okay it's almost never later it's like right immediately after so. all right so as i say successful you see the return label right here okay so you're just gonna go ahead and print that and then you can return your item now, the one other thing i wanted to show you guys before i let you guys go is if you are having any trouble whatsoever and you still want to be able to like reach out to someone you just want to go ahead and click right here customer service you click on it they do have their hours now because of covid so you want to make sure you're keeping that in mind right so when you click on it the tell you it will tell you what the chat time is right now because i'm doing this video a little later they're not available to chat but you can still type in stuff and then it will give you like automated answers of you know what might be able to help but if somebody was available they'll be able to help you out they and they will even ask you what order you want to return and stuff like that so that's how I kind of go about my return. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on the phone and I'm going to do a voiceover for that. So it's easier for you guys to follow me. Okay, guys. So in the app, bottom right hand corner where it says me, you want to click on that. Then you want to go ahead and click my orders. I'm already in the order I wanted to select. So you select the item you want to return. Um, same process as using computer. Select the um, reason why. Um, insert the picture in there as well. And then once that's done, you want to click on next steps. And then you want to click on refund method. I usually select Shein Wallet because I shop from there all the time. But you can select whatever you want. And for the refund method, return method, you want to select um, the post office. That's the only option. And you click on save that. 
and then that should when you refresh the page you should see your ship and labor at the bottom of the page so let me go ahead and refresh now and then once I refresh it, then you see the shipping label at the bottom. So it's immediate and then you can print it and that's it. Okay guys, so that's how you do it on the phone and on the computer. There are a few other things I wanted to just mention. And I know I did show you on the phone, but I still wanted to just talk about it because I know that it's one of those things that it, sometimes you might just kind of brush through it. So some of the items that you cannot return, you can't return lingerie, you can't return swimwear, you can't return jewelry, anything beauty and accessories. There are some things there that you might be able to return, but for the most part, you can't. Now, if you got jewelry or accessories that are broken, you can actually reach out to customer service and let them know that they sent you a broken item. And they're going to ask you for picture proof. And once you send the picture proof to them, then they're, they're going to give you your money back. So they're very, very good with that. But to say you want to return it because it's broken, they're not going to take it back. So the best way to do it is just to reach out to them and then just say, hey, you sent me a defaulted item or defaulted active or uh, no defective item defective jesus christ you sent me a defective item right and then they're gonna just ask you for a couple of pictures you send it to them and then they refund you your money what else is that that you can't return um you can return purses i know purses and scars are on the accessories but those you can return um if you cannot return them when they're in your cart before you purchase it it's going to say final returns not accepted on this item so that's how you know um if they're giving you like a free gift for ordering more than 50 dollars, you can't return that obviously um and then the other thing is the address to send uh your package to make sure that you're not changing anything on the shipping label they're providing that to you but let's say you sent out the first item and then you want to pay your 7.99 for the second item make sure to ask them or to go on their website there's actually an address on their website that you can send it to and it's actually a new jersey you know what i'm gonna show it to you guys i'm, I'm gonna take a picture and i'm gonna put it right here okay right here it's a new jersey uh address that you send it to uh and it's the fastest way for them to get it because if you send it back to china it's going to get lost and nobody's going to give you your money back so that's something to just keep in mind when you are doing your returns so they're pretty fast with returns and even though they say three to five days it takes like three to five days it, it really typically takes only about 24 hours for them to give you back your money once they receive the item in the warehouse and the good thing about it is you can actually track the item so i'm going to show you guys if you click on track you should be able to click on track and just go ahead and track your item and once you're able to track your item then you're able to say okay this is where my item is right now. Once it gets to the warehouse, that's when you got to give them 24 hours for them to look at it. If you put good pictures, you know, I didn't put good pictures. I just put the shoes because I just wanted to get past that page. But if you put a good picture, like an actual picture of the item, it's probably going to make it go by faster. Actually, not probably. It's going to make it go by faster because they already see what you're sending them. So they don't have to re-examine it but if you wanted to just do whatever to get past that's fine it might take a little longer for you to get your returns so that's pretty much everything and again with covid it's taking they're allowing you to return more items if you have any defective items definitely just cost contact customer service i wouldn't wait too too long once you print out, print out the shipping label you do actually have more time it kind of buys you more time from that 70 days they're saying even though they're like 45 to 70 days as long as you've printed your label there was a time i waited two months after printing my label and i was still able to get my refund with no problem nobody said anything and i got my money back i wouldn't recommend that you do that but I just if you if you've printed your label like last week and you haven't gotten the chance to go to the post office because life is like that sometimes don't stress about it just send it they will re they will take it from you and once you track it and it gets to them they will give you your money back so that's just something but if your window has closed and you haven't printed out your shipping label then one time i was able to actually get i was able to actually reach out to customer service and i was like hey i forgot to do this and stuff like that and they let me they actually sent me a label it's just like a hit or miss but yeah so that's pretty much that's pretty much it um let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below i try to be as thorough as i can be but i feel like sometimes you still forget one or two things but that's basically the the idea it's really really easy if you have questions the customer service are usually available during the day during the week to help out with any questions you have also so I'll just reach out to them it doesn't hurt and they're very good at giving money back very very good so i wouldn't even if you buy something from them and you're not sure of the quality or the size or whatever and you're thinking about it 
go ahead purchase from them this jacket was a hit or miss for me i just purchased it and i was just like i don't know what it's gonna look like when it gets here but we're just gonna purchase it and see what it looks like and i liked it when it came so i figured i wasn't gonna return it anymore but you know not everything you're gonna like when you buy it so if you wanted to return anything i hope i hope i hope i hope i haven't been rambling too much i actually hope that this video is really helpful to you if you have any questions for me leave it in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video and you actually like this and this was helpful for you please give me a thumbs up if let me know what is the hardest part about returning for you on sheen and or if you have any questions let me definitely let me know as well make sure you stay safe protect your heart and i'll talk to you guys later bye